Hello there! Welcome back. In today's video, I will share with you three meals that I have been obsessed with lately. We're going to talk about breakfast, lunch, slash dinner. I'm not fully vegan. However, I try to make a lot more plant-based food at home just because I enjoy it. It is healthy as well. So in today's video, everything is vegan. Obviously, if you're not vegan, you can substitute the protein with chicken, shrimp, or anything that your hearts desire. So we're going to go over breakfast first. For my lifestyle, I have to eat breakfast in order to function well throughout the day. Eating something healthy, that is feeling, that is going to keep me full until lunch is crucial. For today, I am making toasted oats cereal. I have never made this before and just wanting to try things out to see how I will like it. Basically, I'm combining all of the ingredients together such as oats, walnuts that is broken roughly or crushed walnuts, some pumpkin seeds, sliced almonds, nutritional yeast, some black sesame, and then just let it toast for about five minutes until it gets this beautiful golden brown color. In the meanwhile, I'm going to cut some fruits. Here I have some strawberries and blackberries. I would certainly add more, but this is what I have for today. Now back to the oats. I am going to add some coconut flakes, drizzle some maple syrup, and then using a spatula, I'm going to stir the ingredients together. This color here is a bit too brown because I was cutting some fruits and left it too long. However, it is still edible and still delicious. Since the ingredients are done and roasted, I'm going to serve it with some fruits and plant-based milk. So yummy! light, refreshing, and filling. Another way for me to eat this toasted oats would be with some yogurt, some fruit as well, instead of with some milk, and that will also be very delicious. This next meal is all about sushi. You can make it for lunch, for dinner, date night, and so much more. I love sushi so much. It is flavorful, it is filling, it is colorful as well, and also very healthy. I used to be very intimidated by the thought of making sushi because it looks so complex and just so much ingredients, but once I learned it and tried it, I found it to be so much fun and I want to make it all the time just because it's so delicious but also saves money. To prepare for sushi, I'm cooking the sushi rice according to the package instruction in a rice cooker because it is easy and convenient. Once the rice is done, I'm going to scoop a small amount in a bowl and spread it out as thin as I can and let it cool for a little bit and then season it with a rice vinegar seasoning mix it well and then set it aside next i'm going to prepare the rest of my ingredients i am cutting the cucumber in a thin long slices for mango i am slicing it thinly after removing the skin I love mangoes so much. I grew up eating a lot of mangoes because we had a mango tree in the village so it was always a fruitful season in the summer. The mangoes we had in the village can be eaten green or ripe. The green mangoes before it fully ripe provided a sour taste which was perfect for a spicy salad. Next I'm slicing the avocado thinly. I love avocado on sushi just because it is creamy and very filling. This yellow here is a pickle radish. Never had them before and decided to try it out today to see how I would like it. The texture is a bit firmer than the regular pickles and in my opinion, it has very similar taste to the regular pickle on the palate. And I'm just cutting this in a smaller pieces in a julienne style. This next one is also something I have never tried before. So my first time trying it for today. It is a dry gird strips. It has sources of potassium, fiber, protein, and some other nutrition benefits. My last ingredients to slice up are these beautiful strawberries. 
and I'm just slicing it very thinly so I can use it as a topping. For the dipping sauce, I'm making a spicy mayo sauce. Before making the sauce, I had a feeling that I would not like this sauce because I don't use mayo often. However, I wanted to try it anyway and it was confirmed that I do not like spicy mayo, which is fine because I will experiment with some other sauces that will go well. Now it is time to make the sushi. First, I wrap my bamboo mat with plastic wraps to prevent rice sticking on it and here is a bowl of cool or room temperature water for me to dip my hands when making sushi from rice sticking on it to start lay the shiny sushi seaweed on the back then scoop a small amount of rice on the seaweed spread the rice slowly to cover the seaweed during this time dip hands in the bowl of water to prevent rice sticking on the fingers and just keep repeating until the rice is fully covered. Once the seaweed is fully covered, flip it over, add tofu, pickle radish, gourd strip, rice, greens of your choice. Here I have some herbs. I decided to experiment with herbs and was very pleased with the flavor. Then start rolling the sushi from the back with the bamboo mat by pushing a slight pressure on the sushi roll. Not too much, but just a soft pressure. Now I want to add some toppings. So I'm adding mangoes, avocados, and some strawberries. Before cutting, I am covering this roll with a wrap again. I'm pressing the topping with the bamboo mat to mold the shape. Because the toppings are outside, I'm cutting it through the plastic wrap to prevent it from breaking or falling apart. Once the roll is completely cut through, I'm pressing it with the bamboo mat again to secure its shape. And look at this, so gorgeous. Next roll is having that seaweed wrap on the outside. So on the inside, I'm filling it with rice, avocado, cucumber, mango, tofu, sesame seed, and then I would start rolling from the back forward to the front without needing the bamboo mat. The reason why the bamboo mat is not required is because the rice is not outside. To finish the roll, I am using the mat to mold the shape better and then cut them into small bite sizes. This next one is a cone, which is an experiment that I'm trying. I decided to put some rice, cucumbers, avocado, pickle radish, and then create a cone and that's pretty much it. The last rolls are with the cucumber. I am simply putting all the ingredients on the cucumber and then start rolling with my hands until completely done. And you see this nice round balls, very cool. Now since the sushi is done, I'm serving it with soy sauce, seaweed salad on the side, and of course the spicy mayo. The rolls are colorful, delicious, healthy, and filling. Last but not least, this colorful, vibrant, and delicious meal is Buddha or the balance bowl. I can never go wrong with the balance bowl because I can always change the ingredients, the dressing, the topping. It is just so much fun and always so refreshing. To start, I'm going to peel the sweet potato skin, rinse it well, and then cut them into nice sizes. I'm cutting them in big pieces and also smaller pieces as well for plating purposes. I'm seasoning it with some butcher herbs, salt, pepper, garlic, sweet paprika, and drizzle it with some olive oil. Mix it well and then put it in the oven for about 30 minutes or until cooked. I did put mine in 425 degree Fahrenheit. While the sweet potatoes are cooking, I'm mincing some garlic, ginger, and some onions. I will be using these with the king oyster mushrooms that I cut the night before. I'm seasoning it with some butchered herbs, salt, pepper, and oil. Mix it well. I'm going to saute the mushroom about 5 to 10 minutes each side until it shows a brown color. Flip it on the other side and then let it caramelize for about another 5 to 10 minutes. Once the sweet potatoes are done, I'm storing them in the container for future meals. 
In the meanwhile, I'm preparing the asparagus and I am using the whole asparagus without cutting them into smaller pieces. I'm going to season it with salt, pepper, along with minced garlic, onions, and ginger. Saute the asparagus until softened a little bit. This took about five to seven minutes. I taste it and season to adjust. Next, I'm preparing a colorful salad. Deals, basil, green onions, tomatoes, and parsley. I am chopping these in thin slices. For tomatoes, I'm cutting them in halves. I am mincing the bell peppers, cucumbers, and red onions. For starch, I'm using wild black rice, which I cooked the night before. I'm going to mix the salad in with the rice and add some few drops of olives. Mix it well and set it aside. Next is the dressing. A mix of peanut butter, tahini, lemon juice, water, mix it well until smooth, adjust as needed. Finally, the plating time. I put everything in a bowl. I'm also adding in some bean sprouts because I have some left over and do not want it to go bad. Once the bowl is filled to my desire, I drizzle it with the dressing and voila. It is delicious, it is colorful, creamy, crunchy, soft, very hearty, and just overall very flavorful and filling. Such a great dinner option. Since now you have seen the three meals, I would love to hear your thoughts in the comment below, letting me know which was your favorite, and also if you have made this at home as well. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope to see you again next week. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.